uh, divide array into arrays with the maximum difference now as simple as that it just says that you are given an integer array called as nums of size n and a positive integer k uh, post you are given an integer solved in the same way uh, you are given an integer you are given an array an integer array uh, nums of size n and a positive integer k now we have to divide the array into one or more arrays of size 3 satisfying the following condition now what is the condition firstly we have to divide the array in the size of 3 one or more array in the size of 3 so that's a prime condition that i should be able to divide that array uh, of at least of size 3 now what thing i should consider while dividing is each element of nums should be in exactly one array which means i cannot overlap the arrays if i have this arrays like this this array is like this i can just divide it like this like this and so on and so forth but i cannot overlap it this is not a correct division of the array the difference between any two elements in one array is less than or equal to k which means if i just take this division which means if i am choosing three elements to build array and it is not necessarily consecutive i can just choose any three elements now how you would know that you would know that by the example itself that one three and one they have chosen just to build the array so for sure you don't need to choose the consecutive element you can choose any three elements but just make sure the difference between any two element in the array is less than or equal to k or indirectly you can also say that the difference between the minimum and the maximum element is less than or equal to k maximum minus minimum element in this size 3 array is less than or equal to k now uh, it is not specifically mentioned that you have to just make your array size as bigger as possible it is just mentioned the minimum array size should be three it can be more than divide the array into one or more arrays of size three sorry the array sizes will be three but it can be multiple such arrays and is it possible to even divide it yeah it is possible because n will be a multiple throw of three so you will always be able to divide that in your array itself now we have to return a 2d array containing all the arrays if it is impossible to satisfy the condition return an empty array and if there are multiple arrays return any of them so it is as simple as that your ultimate prime goal is that your minimum maximum element if you if you you will just grab three elements and for sure the difference between the maximum and the minimum element should be less than or equal to k right so when you have to group on group all the elements which means ultimately you will try to group on all the elements all the elements you will try to group on and you would want that this and this difference should be as minimum as possible by as minimum as possible so that it should be less than equal to k if it is still more than equal to k then if, if, it, is, if it is still more than k then you cannot do anything but if it is less than equal to k then it is good for you so for sure the obvious thing is you will try to sort this entire array down why sorting will help us it will help you club the closest number close to each other which means i will have all the numbers in this increasing order itself or you can also have in the decreasing order any way whatsoever you want but the benefit of this will be that you will have all the numbers as close to each other as possible with this what will happen i can just check okay if the difference between these two elements is less than or equal to k which means it will form a go it will form a good array for me if the difference is less than or equal to k it will form a good array for me and why i will check because i want to build an array of size 3 and that is what my ultimate purpose was so if i have a 0 1 2 so if i am at the index i i'll just check i minus 2 index the difference and will ultimately go and check if all of this and then i'll just simply jump on to this element which is this particular i and i'll again go and check this i minus 2 and i can keep on going on all the i's in the multiple of 3 and then i can just simply go and satisfy if all of them satisfy satisfies then i can keep on building the answer which is these three elements these three elements these three elements so on and so forth if at any point anyone is not satisfying i'll simply return an empty vector because that is what they ask us to return if it is impossible or not possible to solve it and it will be the best possible option to sort because after sorting everyone will be as close to each other as possible and that would be the only possible smallest possible option and i'm not saying the only possible i'll say the smallest possible as in the best possible solution can be if everyone is as close to each other as possible so that 
डिफरेंस विल बी एज मिनिमम एज पॉसिबल एंड विद दैट डिफरेंस बींग एज मिनिमम एज पॉसिबल इट विल बी अ हायर चांस टू बी लेस देन इक्वल टू के कुल विल क्विकली सॉल्व दिस विल एज इन विल क्विकली कोड दिस अप ऑल्सो this was also a pretty uh, easy problem uh, just comment down below any other approaches which you guys took uh, we will be happy to take that too so um, firstly uh, we want to have a answer so we will just take the vector of vector now now for sure if you have the answer you will have to um, as i mentioned you'll have to sort your nums also so i'll just simply and yeah just quickly and just, and yeah just comment down below any other approaches whatsoever you guys have or took uh, that would be great and uh, we will just simply do a uh, sorting of this particular number now i will start off as i showed you i will just start off from index equals to 2 and i will just keep on going in my entire nums while i is nums dot uh, size and also i equals to i plus 2 or i should say i is equals to i plus 3 because i will go in the multiples of 3 now i'll just simply go and have a quick check if my nums of i minus nums of i minus 2 because that was my difference right if it is less than equals to my k then ultimately i know one thing for sure that i can actually build my uh this specific as an answer now if at worst point if it is not then i can simply um return can you share the code in java also um so like i'll just tell you the quick approach uh for this wait um so yeah ultimately like let me finish this and then i'll just tell you the quick approach for this just to get any code in java or python but yeah um i can just push back this uh push back this particular i know that i have these three elements so i have this nums of i minus 2 and i have uh, nums of i minus 1 and i have nums of i i have these three elements which i'll just simply push back in my entire answer now ultimately if i have ultimately reached the end which means i have not encountered any of this else condition i can simply uh yeah that is correct by rahul uh we can just simply that was i was also going to tell you that we can simply go to chat gpt and convert that solution which is as simple as that which means if i just go and uh, open chat gpt so just ask chat gpt to convert um the code in c++ convert the below oh ho below code in java and just paste your code and it will just simply go and convert that code and there is a high chance that it will be okay so just copy this code uh, come back on your editor choose a language java and then i can simply paste the code it is public int int so just ask him to convert this to a int int convert list to a int int so um simply convert list or okay i'll just can do a select of this and convert it to a uh, okay to a int int and then we just quickly convert that to now we have our answer convert the list array to a 2d integer array this is converted i guess nums okay yeah that is done uh, let's simply copy this up now come back here um just simply paste this let's see if we have uh we would just want a solution which is from here to here so let's just simply copy this up cut and paste it here it should be good um uh, in in rare cases there if the code is complex pretty complex or we have used a pretty complex stls as you can see uh if you have used a pretty complex x pretty complex complex stls it might happen that uh, your code which chat gpt would give might be a bit buggy but just give him some test case or just read it through and see what could be the possible edge like wrong cases and then it will just simply give you the answer 